welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie F. And today I'm going to do kind of a quick kit up of a partial painting I want to do for an event for the month of August. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> so just in case you do not know the term, the term kit up just means that it's the process of when we organize all the diamonds and usually in storage containers it could be anything it could be boxes it could be ziploc bags or you can even use these original bags it's a little tougher but you can do that and this storage container is one i don't really show a lot because i only have one <laughs> and I actually just recently de it because i have i'm not kidding y'all i have so many paintings that i've kind of finished on the side and i have kind of a stack of <laughs> diamonds that I have to de-kit and I do save my diamonds so that's why they're kind of stacked up now I just haven't had a chance to sit down and actually de-kit all of them I actually kind of record but it'll take me a bit so yeah uh, another problem for another day <laughs> but luckily this one I found that I did de-kit it there's only one color in it because I had de it before except for one so luckily I was able to finish it out this storage container I actually got it from Timu because, of course, I get everything from Timu. <laughs> and it's just a little, it's just a box. And I, I really love these because they're larger than the tubes. And I'm not too sure if they're larger than the Elizabeth Ward trays. But to me, these are a lot easier to pour into. As you can see, it's a big square. And it closes and locks. And you're good to go. This original container I bought comes with 20 of them. Oops, sorry, I forgot to remove the post-it even says here d-kit on it it was for a timu painting i did and you would just lock it and there you go you get to go has a little handle so you have to run around <laughs> you don't have to worry the diamonds getting out so and i'll find the information for this and i'll put it in the description below if in case this little storage box is more your stack <laughs> and the painting i'm kidding up today is the partial I actually showed in a timu video a couple days ago it's that wonderful lady with the kimono and I haven't done a partial in a while but I'm super excited to work on this. It's going to be kind of like my secondary painting for the event that I'm doing um, that's being sponsored by Ms. Diamond Grandma. It's the Cultures 24 event so I feel like this fits the not topic <laughs> the event pretty well so and I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like at the end so I decided to do a kit up for this one and luckily it should be a quick one because there are only 10 diamonds for those so let's begin <laughs> this one i don't really need to use a two i don't believe it's two my little not two sorry my little funnel i will use the tray because i'm worried that they might slip away and as you can see they're mostly rhinestones they're really really small so i'm worried I'm a tad clumsy. It's going to slip and my whole desk is going to be all bedazzled as well. <laughs> so let me just cut off the top real quick. Honestly, I'm a little nervous because the bag's really full. So I just cut off the plastic. Oh, just perfect. See how it just goes in easily? I don't really have to do anything. And just snap shut. Just make it closed and you're good to go. I actually forgot to put labels on these because I had to remove the original ones. I keep a lot of washi tape on just so when I remove the labels, it's easier to peel them off. And yes, I have a little roll of labels. I've been using these for ooh, almost, I can't even remember. I bought them months ago. And anytime I need a label, I always, or anytime I'm doing any kind of kits, I just grab my little roll and I just pull the labels I need. Honestly, I don't remember when I purchased it. It's been around for a while. <laughs> and I do have the information for it. So in case these little labels are kind of more your style, I'll find them and put them uh, in the description below. And of course, they're from Timo. <laughs> I'm not kidding. A majority of my items, especially that I use for diamond painting, including some painting. Okay, a lot of paint. Okay, a whole bunch of paintings <laughs> are from Timo. So... That's why I use storage units as well. So this would be number two. And I'm real excited to do this painting because there is a diamond, oh I'm sorry, a rhinestone that I've never, I've seen it before from another diamond painter channel. 
that she showed him. And it was a different painting. It, it wasn't the same one. But I fell in love when I saw it. And I did not know this painting was going to have them as well. So, pleasant surprise for me. And I'll show it to you in a moment. I believe it might be the last diamond in this row. Look at this is back and there's barely any in here. <laughs> That's so funny. It's kind of cute. It's like this little itty bitty rhinestones. I like it. And this is number two. Fortunately, this painting only has 10. So I think a majority of it was in that first one I poured. <laughs> so I'm on number three. So I think I can do a teeny tiny little chat, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think what to talk about. Honestly, I just wanted to get these diamonds in the case. Sorry, in the little containers. So I can start already. And I can be excited and start on this painting. <laughs> Actually, I did start. I'm doing two events. I'm doing Diamond Grandmas. And I give you a moment. I just have to fix something on the side. So I thought that it was a sound thing. I'm uh, doing the event by uh, Diamond Grandma, which is the Cultures event. And I'm doing another event called ABs in August 24, I believe. I always forget the name. And that one, it's, I found it through Instagram. And it's being sponsored by Kirby the Diamond Painter and Jamie Paints, I believe. And I found it randomly i was going through my instagram and i was trying to put up a, a post of a painting that i would well actually the painting that i'm doing for the culture event i saw their event appear on my timeline and i thought oh there's an ab event so the requirements for that event if sorry for this event is really neat it just has to be a licensed painting that has four ab's or more but it doesn't really just have to be ABs. It just has to be four special drills or more. The painting I selected, luckily, had four ABs. Now, I don't have a lot of special drills saved up. Because <laughs> I have a lot of paintings. I don't have a lot of paintings that have ABs. Or that I remember to make sure to save the ABs. <laughs> and so I don't... I thought of using a different painting... But it didn't really have any special drills. And myself, I, as I said, I don't have special drills sell, saved up. I do have some berry dust that I had purchased ooh, a long time ago. But I really wanted sparkle. So <laughs> that's why I really wanted the ABs. But yeah, so that's why I was worried. Oh, I don't know if I have enough. But then I remembered the painting. I opened, I think... A couple weeks ago. It's the Warm Witch painting from Diamond Art Club. And that one has specifically four ABs. So I figured, ooh, that's lucky right there. I'm doing that painting for that event. I actually started that one yesterday. And I just did a little section because I have I didn't do the washi tape method for that. I'm using release paper. So I did one little section yesterday. Oh my goodness, it's just with that section. It's just so so pretty. And it's it's a round diamond painting, so is just so so pretty and it's so shiny and i haven't even put the ab's yet so i can't wait till i get that section and i'm planning to be posting updates for that painting on instagram just so i can you know anyone who's sorry i'm just making sure my five is so bad <laughs> i'm sorry if anyone's following me on instagram you can be just checking out the updates i'll be putting for that painting just to see the status and one of the requirements is you don't really have to be putting updates but i kind of want you to show you know especially if any of y'all five viewers are on my instagram as well maybe kept in the loop and you can be seeing oh she's already up to that point in that painting so i want to be able to you know be able to give updates to everyone and Ooh, there is some little static on these rainstones. It's real trippy. <laughs> it kind of throws me off. So this is number five. This beautiful gold one. Oh, that is so pretty. And yeah, so I'm I'm really loving that painting. So the other painting I haven't started yet, but I believe I'm I sorry. 
I'm going to start it today because I need to section it off. I haven't done it yet because I didn't have a chance. It's the one I'm doing for the Cultures event. That one I will have to do the washi tape method because I actually ran out of release paper. I'm really odd. So I like a certain size for my release paper. And I know everyone, you know, everyone has different kind of... Some some painters love using, you know, painting a small use small sections some painters love doing larger sections i'm like <laughs> i'm like the medium one is just right for me <laughs> and it's i can't i can't remember what the dimensions are but it's kind of oh my goodness i, I should have gotten the numbers for it it's it's halfway point between it's like the half a size of a postcard that's the closest index card there you go that's the closest description i can think half of that is the size that i love working in because i'm odd like that and i have no idea why i love that kind of size so i had some extra release paper and i have a paper cutter so i cut it into that size and i was able to put some sections on the warm witch painting with that paper but i ran out of release paper and it's just plain jane white release paper nothing fancy on it i don't have a printer so i can't print anything nice on the paper <laughs> i mean i could i could print like an essay on the, on the paper and that's decorative but i i don't want to waste my ink on that so and my my luck it's probably gonna smudge off as soon as i touch the thing so <laughs> i don't want to do that so i just put a bunch of stickers on it because i have a whole bunch of stickers just in case you didn't notice, I love stickers. <laughs> so I did that, and so yeah, that's the only decorative part I do for my release papers. Bad on the warm witch one, but then I saw, ooh, I ran out. Because I originally had a couple of packs of different release paper. I have no idea where I put it away. I'm not kidding, don't you hate that? When you organize everything, put everything away, and then when you actually need the one thing, poof, disappears on you. I have no idea where they're at. <laughs> so that's why that painting for the cultures event i'm gonna do washi tape because that i do always have available so i'll do that method and sorry i really love the pearl effect of this one that's us holding it up oh, so pretty i love that it actually look like real pearls i like it you're not real right no no you're not real <laughs> that'd be a plot twist right there it's like whoa my brain still is getting the real pearls so now i am number eight Yes. And I'm so excited to do those events because I'm so happy I, fin I was I finished the event for Diamond Grandma, which was Grandma's Christmas. And that painting came out so, so beautifully. And I'm planning to do, uh, I did, I'm so happy, I did hit the five paintings I wanted to finish in July. So, and I'm planning to do a video of that so I can show you all the final results. And to see my eighth painting. Oh, my eighth painting, sorry. I read the eight. The fifth painting was a plot twist because I didn't know what I was going to do with the witch painting. I was finishing up for the fifth one, but I had unboxed this painting. So I worked on it like just crazy just so I can, you know, finish my fifth one. And luckily I was able to. I actually, I'm not kidding. I kept working on that painting until almost midnight on the last day of july now don't get me wrong i know this is just me and i could tell you all oh yeah i fixed it i finished it in july and i just did it today now i'm too myself i'm too honest and, and i feel too bad i feel really bad you know kind of lying to you so <laughs> that's why i kept working like just nuts just trying to finish it so i can say i finished all of these in july I'll, actually, I'll probably record the video for that tomorrow. Ooh, the static kind of got away from me, and I lost them. There's so many, so as you can see, it's a little pink pearl raindrop ones. I knew they were going to do that because the package was really staticky. Let me put them in. See, they're already sticking to the container. And my apologies. I didn't notice. I think I was kind of moving off camera. I keep moving closer, and I don't notice where the camera is. <laughs> So, but I think I still caught everything on camera, so sorry about that. Let me just 
pick these up. And these are so small. And I've done a, another painting that had these little raindrop image. Ooh, there's some stuck in the little let the little thing. And they're not that they can't be placed. They're a little bit more. You have to really, really focus on them so they can be placed straight when you place them on the painting. As you can see how small they are. They're really, really small. And I do pick up with the pen. I don't have a problem picking them up. It's just getting them straight <laughs> or whatever angle the painting is asking for. Yeah, it's a little tad bit of a challenge, but they are pretty once you've already seen them all collective in the painting. So that's why I still love those little... Drives a little crazy, but still love those little dice kits. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I decided just to just to do two events this month because I I thought of doing ooh, a couple more. No, 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 no. I learned my lesson last month. I can only do two and mostly for my warm witch painting is really large, so I know that one's gonna it's gonna take a while. But I am doing a square painting on the side. Yeah, it's not taking much of my time. It's just so I can... I'm still practicing with the squares. And just so I can get some more practice. And just so I'm not looking at rounds all day. And mostly because I'm worried I'm going to get bored. I'm just looking at rounds. So that's why I wanted to do a square one. And it was... It's the Dreamer Design square painting I opened up. Ooh, I believe last week, I believe. Sorry, I opened <laughs> I've opened a lot of paintings. And that one I really am excited to try it as I probably said in the video too. I've never done a square from Dreamer Design. So I'm curious how it's gonna be. And sorry, the color on this one is so pretty. That's why I stopped. Oh, that red is so so pretty. It looks like garnet to me. I really, really like it. Why did I put nine? This is C. Sorry, this is A. So the last two... Oh, sorry, we hear the traffic. Well, I'll just put A here. The last two don't have a number. The, re the rest of the legend is alphabetical. But the last two aren't. They're symbols. It, I'm sorry, they're letters. It's an A and a C. So, but I'll still put a number. Just so I know when I'm putting the boxes in order. Because it's easy to pull them out. I know what order they're in. Because if not, I'm going to forget. This next one... Oh, it is the diamond I was stating. The one that I had seen before, and I did not expect, they're roses. Of course, they're roses. <laughs> I love the prismatic effect on them. And let me pour them out real quick. Just so you all can see the wonderful shine on it. It's super pretty. This is a C. Let's drop them to the floor. I was able to catch them. <laughs> oh, this bag is almost full, too. And I've... Never gone rhinestones that are kind of large like this. Usually they're pretty small. So. Are they still called rhinestones? I think so. I'm not sure. I never thought of it. Because they're not right stony. But they're kind of doing the same effect. As you can see the little prismatic effect on them. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my goodness. They're just so, so pretty. I love how large they are. And you can see the rose petal details on it. Sorry, I moved off camera again. I really love that. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to place these. They're just so, so pretty. <laughs> it's just, it looks like 10 Celsius to me, like a temperature. I have no idea. What. That made me laugh, sorry. So, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So everything's kitted up. As I said, you can see them all in the box. You just close them and you can kind of see them. I love doing that because you can actually see them even from the top. I believe I'm catching it on camera. You can see all the diamonds in there and the way i label them because i originally had thought of labeling the top but i can't really see the label because since they stack so it's easier putting them on the side so this one since it was so small that's why i decided to pick this little box this box is only 20 of them and since some of the rhinestones are real small real easy to pour into so yeah i really really love this oh so cute i cannot wait to start this one and just in case you want to see the painting again it's this one. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so pretty and I am so excited to work on this one. And again, I'll be posting updates as well. And just so y'all curious to see how it's coming out. <laughs> and again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I ask is if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. 
really helps out with the channel and really allows me the opportunity to show everyone these wonderful paintings I'm more than happy to show. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.